है गाइज ये कहानी है चित्रांग मुर्दिया की फिनोमिनल जर्नी फ्रॉम आई टू एम इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी बॉम्बे टू मैसेच्यूसेट्स इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन यू एस ए विद हंड्रेड परसेंट स्कॉलरशिप सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर ड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट So before starting with his MIT journey I really want to share his IIT journey which is again one of the most inspiring so he studied in IIT Bombay from 2014 to 2015 then continued at MIT from 2015 to 2018 so in order to reach MIT as you guys know you need your IIT J mains and IIT J advanced so in his grade 12 he got 97 percentage obviously non medical then IIT J mains he got a score of 335 out of 360 with a rank of 38 all over india and his iit j advanced score is one of the best in the country that was 334 out of 360 and uska rank you can never guess his rank in your life that was one number one rank all over india and not only this agar aap percentage wise dekho na to uski percentage thi around 92 percentage in iit j advanced that is fourth highest in the country in the last 10 years so that is incredible as well that proves that he is prodigy and india is proud of him ab mujhe pata hai aap kya soch rahe hoge so after putting in that much interest passion and hard work into iits use iit bombay kyu quit karna pada har bacche ka sapna hota hai even my dream was to study computer science at one of the most prestigious university of india that is iit bombay main bhi wahan pahunchna chahta tha but why did he quit after landing at a dream place of every second indian to uska karan tha that his interest was more inclined towards physics and sciences as compared to प्रोग्रामिंग और कंप्यूटर साइंस जैसे अगर आप कंप्यूटर साइंस के एग्जाम्पल ले लो सो लेट्स आई एम सर्विंग कंप्यूटर साइंस सो वी आर प्रोवाइडेड दिस सेट ऑफ रूल्स मेक दिस प्रोग्राम यू गो टू कंपनी सेम लाइक यू प्रोवाइडेड रिक्वायरमेंट्स मेक दिस प्रोग्राम मेक दिस हैपन लाइक ये काम दिया ये करो दैट्स इट बट वेन यू डूइंग रिसर्च विद साइंस स्पेशली फिजिक्स यू आर डाइविंग इन टू द सी ऑफ साइंसिस आप देख रहे हो दैट इज फिश दैट इज स्टार फिश दैट इज अनदर टाइप ऑफ फिश यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग एंड लर्निंग न्यू थिंग्स एवरी डे सो दैट्स वॉट ही वॉन्टेड टू डू सो ही वॉन्टेड टू लर्न न्यू थिंग्स एवरी डे बाई डूइंग research in physics and that was his passion and he didn't criticize against iits us nahi kaha ki iits ghatiya it was just that he didn't find the right research environment at iit so that's why he had to quit iit bombay and he started studying physics and mathematics and economics at mit mera research mein jaane ka interest tha shuru se So now as we are done with his IIT journey let's get back to his MIT journey so he has already graduated from MIT with a degree in physics and mathematics so dual major and also minor in economics so three majors and after completing his undergrad in May 2018 he started his masters and doctorate at UC Berkeley that was in high energy particle physics more complicated things so he is still in the sea of research to kafi kuch naya seekh raha he is enjoying he is having a lot of fun at uc berkeley and especially in physics and now finally let's get back to the point how he was able to land in one of the most prestigious universities so as you guys already know that ki harvard mit jaane ke teen tarike hain number 1 as a college freshman so after you complete your class 12 in india or wherever then you can apply and then start studying for the first year at mit number 2 as a transfer applicant so let's say that you finished your one or two years in any indian institute or any university in the world then you can apply as a transfer applicant and then start studying continue your degree at mit number 3 way is after completing your undergrad so let's say you completed your undergrad in 3 or 4 years then you can apply as masters phd doctorate and start studying over there with the help of gr etc and chitrang modiya chose the number 2 way that is applying as a transfer applicant kafi students ne usse motivate kiya tha we know that ki physics is your passion but just try computer science you may like it and then he tried he didn't like it and then transferred so chitrang applied to all of these prestigious universities those include harvard mit caltech stanford Princeton and it's not a surprise that he was accepted to all of these institutes with some fellowship and some scholarship and उससे पहले आपको लगता होगा कि रैंक वन से उसे एडमिशन इजीली मिल गई सो यू माइट बी थिंकिंग कि आईआईटी का नाम हो और रैंक वन हो तो एडमिशन इज गारंटीड बट दैट्स नॉट ट्रू इवन अदर स्टूडेंट्स विद रैंक लाइक 79 इन आईटी जे एडवांस दे हैव बीन एक्सेप्टेड एज वेल और आपको इतनी बड़ी इंस्टीट्यूट लाइक आई से होना भी जरूरी नहीं है देर आर स्टूडेंट्स लाइक मलविका जोशी ही वॉज नॉट इवन फ्रॉम अ स्कूल ना सी बोर्ड ना आई कोई बोर्ड ही नहीं शी वॉज होम स्कूल एंड सिल शी वॉज एबल टू लैंड एट एम उसका लिंक 
मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन में दूंगा बट द पॉइंट इज यू डोंट नीड टू बी आई आई टी एन यू डोंट नीड टू बी रैंक वन यू जस्ट नीड टू बी स्मार्ट एंड पैशनेट एंड दैट्स वर आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग सो हाउ ही वॉज एबल टू लैंड एड एम आई टी सो नंबर वन थिंग दैट्स मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इज स्कोर सो एज यू गाइज नो दैट नाउ एस एटी हैज बिन कन्वर्टेड टू सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड एंड बैक दैन इट वॉज ट्वेंटी फोर हंड्रेड सो हिस स्कोर वॉज डेफिनेटली ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड अब बिकॉज दैट्स अ रिक्वायरमेंट वहाँ पर स्टैंडर्ड है मोर देन सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट आइल ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स है well but he didn't reveal it but i'm promising you that it must be above that and also if you convert that to our scale to uski score hogi around 1500 plus out of 1600 and now the next requirement is you need two sct subject tests one in math one in sciences so number one he took was in math and number two could, could be physics chemistry i'm pretty sure he took physics he hasn't revealed it but these are requirements and you should score definitely above 750 out of 800 in both and he definitely got that and when you're transferring to mit your college gpa matters as well so his cgpa at iit was 10 out of 10 and that's amazing and one thing to remember is if you're transferring to mit you should not have completed more than two and a half years at your current university otherwise you won't be able to transfer and other than that his high school gpa was good as well so that was very close to 4.0 out of 4 so us mein jo gpa system hota hai that is out of 4 and they convert they combine your 9th 10th 11th 12th class uh, gpa into one single gpa and that's how they calculate and he got 97 percentage in his class 12 and obviously non medical and now after this you are also supposed to take toefl ielts par agar aapne sat mein itna acha score kiya if you perform that well in sat then toefl ielts is just piece of cake so that's all for the scores but this is just one piece of application that is like 25% to 30 percentage factor of the 100% application jo aapko mit pahunchata hai so the next important factor is about your extracurriculars and he had tons of extracurriculars as well so those include kvpy fellowship and ntsc scholarship those are so hard and difficult kuch chan gine hue bachcho ko bhi milti hai some handful students only get these kind of scholarships after working that hard and even his professors his teachers in his coaching institute had said that ki he will definitely make it to idj advanced kyunki itne sare awards the and not only this he was gold medalist in physics olympiad and he was the only student back then jiske paas charo science ke olympiads the those include physics chemistry mathematics and astronomy all sciences olympiad and ek hi bachche ke paas that was surprising and that was amazing ab aap fir se soch rahe ho gaye ki itne sare awards hai to mit admission guaranteed hai but that's also not true if you take an exam of ayush sharma so i had also talked about his profile back then agar aap uski profile check karoge you will get to know that he had not a single ओलंपियाड मतलब जिनके पास ओलंपियाड नहीं भी था उन्हें भी एडमिशन मिल रही है ही डेंट हैव मच नेशनल अचीवमेंट्स एज वेल तो उसके कारण भी उसे एडमिशन मिल गई तो आपको भी मिल सकती है एंड आप सोचोगे अगर गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट मिल जाए तो गारंटीड है नो एम आई टी हैज डिनाइड अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स विद गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट एज वेल सो गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट एक अकेली चीज से आप एम आई टी नहीं पहुंच सकते सो नॉल इस मूव ऑन विद थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर दैट हेल्प हिम रीच एम आई टी दैट वॉज एस एस तो आपको पता ही होगा मैंने पहले भी बताया कि थ्री डिट्स डायलॉग दो तरह के स्टूडेंट्स होते हैं well trained number 2 well educated students so if you want to be well educated students you should not just have numbers mai itne itne ranking laya hum rank 1 uh, topper and all that you don't need numbers you need practical experience and knowledge that could be gained from internships etc and he gained through iits and like some practical projects that he did a simple example could be that agar mujhe show karna hai if i want to show that i'm very passionate towards computer science i can show that through my projects let's say that i am very passionate through programming मैंने एक ए आई बॉड बनाया मेड अ सिंपल बॉड आई मेड हीटर और कुछ भी जस्ट लाइक इन थ्री इडियट ही मेड टन्स ऑफ क्रिएटिव थिंग्स थ्रू प्रोग्रामिंग एंड यू कैन इवन मेक अ फोन सेल फोन जो भी आपको बनाना है एनी थिंग क्रिएटिव यू वॉन्ट मेक यू कैन मेक एंड प्रेजेंट इन यूर एस ए सो दैट विल बी योर थेरेटिकल एक्सपीरियंस अवार्ड एक्सपीरियंस प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपीरियंस टन्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस कंबाइन यू एस ए दैट प्रूव यू आर वेरी पैशनेट एंड मैंने काफ़ी डिटेल्स अबाउट एस एज देर आर लाइक फोर टू फाइव क्वेश्चन इन यू एस ए आई कवर्ड इन दिस वीडियो यू कैन चेक आउट सो आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू रिपीट दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन सो दीज आर अ कपल ऑफ factors that helped him reach mit and mit gives need blind scholarship that means jitni aapki uh, parents ki income hai if your parents earn more you will pay more if your parents make less money you will pay less money and he is from middle class family and he was from middle class family in 
2014. So that's why he got 100% scholarship in MIT and he's he has already graduated for free and now he's studying at UC Berkeley. Mein. So that's his story. But once again, I want to share that ki you should check out other journeys to MIT as well without many awards, without many rankings or with passion bhi log sakte So you definitely need one or two national achievements, but with passion, interest and practical knowledge, you can definitely reach MIT as well. So that's the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.